Hey y'all, what's up? If you want to see how I styled and got this bob out of a 14-inch U-Par wig, stay tuned. All right, what's up there, YouTubers? It's your girl, Shay Skyler, and I'm back with, a, with another video. So today is going to be a, a put-together wig review, all that good stuff. So this video today is brought to you by and sponsored by Canary Hair. Um, Canary Hair, Hair Company on Amazon. It is an Amazon wig seller. They sent me a U-part wig, okay, and it's 14 inches. So this is how she is looking. Um, it comes with these straps here that are removable for you to go ahead and clip, okay, down for your hair so it can stay down. Um, it also comes with two combs on the side and then one comb in the back, okay? And she is a U-part wig. She is 14 inches long, all right? And this is how she's looking. Now, I'm natural, so a U-part wig is not going to work for me, okay? So what I went ahead and did was I went on Amazon, and I'll attach this link in my description box. And I just got it today, and I went ahead and purchased a 14-inch um, 4x4 closure, a free part closure. And let me take her out because I just got her today. So this is how she looks, all right? Nice and full. Um, she comes pre-plucked with long baby hairs, and this is how she looks here. Now, y'all know I don't do any bleaching or anything to my unit. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, on this U-part wig, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the two straps, and I'm gonna sew down my closure, okay? Which is gonna give me this look here is needle and thread you're also going to need some scissors in order to cut your needle and thread and then to cut this off so i'm going to go ahead and speed this portion of this video up and then i'll come back for the install all right guys so for this unit i'm going to go ahead and just first start with just attaching the closure initially to the wig and then once I have it attached with one little good sew, I'm gonna go ahead and take the unit and flip it, flip it over because it's easier for me to do this inside out. So once it's flipped over, you're gonna do the same exact thing as if you were sewing a closure onto a wig or a new wig that's not a U-part. You're just gonna take the needle and thread and you're going to sew it around, okay? That open U-part unit. All right, y'all, so I'm all done sewing this on this is the side that we want short okay so it's actually going to go long okay and short so I, I i can't really describe it but this part is going to be like about here okay so what i'm going to do with my scissors and i'm going to make sure i'm doing this right so it's going to go like long and short okay so it's it's like long and short. So I know I want this part to be about right here. Okay, so we're gonna cut like this. And remember to start short because you can fix the mistakes that way. You don't wanna start chomping off bit parts. And we gonna snip some more. Y'all know how I get. Scissor hat. All right, y'all. So this is the end result of this bob. So we went from a 14 inch to like a <laughs> literally like an eight inch bob. But I like this so much better. So yeah, remember this unit was a um, U-part unit that I turned into a closure bob. So I'll leave the information um, about this unit in the description box, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching, bye.